Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show here on YouTube. In today's episode, we're going to be overviewing and giving a short review on the Palm Centro for AT&T, also known as the Treo 685 Access Powered Palm 5.4.9, 2.2 inch LCD screen, 320 by 320 pixels. And let's get started here with the startup screen. There's the AT&T logo. Short little demo that they have, and uh, first and foremost, let's start off with the keyboard. Very different keyboard than the other trios. This is actually all one sheet instead of having individual keys. And also, as you can tell by my thumbs here, it's a lot more cramped than the um, previous trios, which are already cramped to begin with, but this is even more cramped. A uh, very interesting color scheme, uh, not so much the white, but the actual green for the uh, numbers. A really weird color that a lot of people don't seem to like, uh, employees and customers alike that I talked to today at the AT&T store here in Meriden, Connecticut. So anyways, there, there's the keyboard, and go down here, and you have your jacks for syncing, charging, and there's the, um, I think it's 3.5, uh, no, I think it's a 2.5. Millimeter jack, uh, and there's the lanyard thing, so you can hang it around your neck. And that's actually the only place there is a lanyard spot. And then there you have the infrared port for beaming stuff back and forth. Uh, ringer switch on and off, very handy when you need to shut the ringer off. Now it's vibrating. And uh, right here we have the stylus. You take it out, I think it's a little bit different. I think it's more plasticky than before. You can always buy a third party to match up with your Centro. And... That's the stylus there. And there's the other side. And then back here is a 1.3 megapixel camera with video recording capabilities. There's the self-portrait mirror and also the speakerphone and the AT&T logo, which I'll take the cover off here to show the battery. But first go to the micro SD slot. Holds up to 4 gigs. If you try to go bigger than 4 gigs, such as a 6 gig or an 8 gig, it could potentially... Erase your data or only read two gigs of it from what I hear on the TreosCentral.com forums. Let's move on to the battery. 1150 milliamp battery. Um, give you about three and a half hours of talk time. Uh, probably just barely get you through the day. Uh, there's no high speed, uh, high speed data. It's an edge connection, so it shouldn't drain the battery as quick as a 3G connection would. Although the 3G connection would be very nice. Now let's get back in out of the demo here. Touch screen isn't really, well, touch, 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 touch. Oh, there we go. Here's the home screen. Home screen. My Centro, push to talk. Your quick tour over there to the right. There you have it. at t Music, Mall, Express Mail, Bluetooth, Calculator, Calendar, all kind of contacts, documents, email. Got to catch up with myself here. XM Radio, Music ID, Moby TV, back up the email. Can't really do anything right now because we don't have an internet connection. They were nice enough to lend it to me, but no SIM card is in it right now. There's your express mail, your contacts, your documents to go. Documents to go 10, very huge. Edit and uh, create uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all the different stuff that goes with Microsoft Office or any other thing. So very useful to be able to do that on the go. Then we have Telenav, but no GPS built in. There's Moby TV. You need to have a G, uh, Bluetooth GPS receiver to use Telenav. There is no GPS built in. But there is an instant messaging app, which is very nice. The AIM, and then you have Yahoo down there, your settings. And then you have uh, Windows Live Messenger, very useful if you use Xbox Live. Let's go back. There's the home screen, home button. Hit that. Uh, Komono Player uh, up there. There's messaging. Now, so you can create your text messages or video messages, whatever, photo messaging. Can't really use it. Like I said, there's no SIM card in there. But that's what it looks like. Threaded, threaded SMS messaging, too, which is, uh, you know, become a standard for Palm. Uh, even on Treo 750, which is a window mobile, Windows mobile device. So let me go back to the home screen here. Let's see. There's the phone app. Komona. So you can actually play audio and video on their uh Komono 3. I think Komono 4 is out. Hmm, that's weird. I have to check on Trey on that time. I'm pretty sure there's a Komono Player 4. Uh, that's a pretty awesome device, especially over um, over high-speed connections. There's your phone app. The, it doesn't have the 
standard Treo 650 one and has one from the 680. So I just I just went out of it. You know, I'm trying to hit that green button, but I don't think that. There, I'm going back to the phone app. There's your uh, main phone screen. There's your favorites, which you can set. There's the dial pad. Back to your favorites. It gives you a bunch of options of what you can pick. You can change these and into anything you want. All your third-party apps can go there. Uh, there's your contacts. There's nobody there right now. There's no contacts synced up. Then there's your call log. There's been no calls made because I just took it out right out of the box. Got to go back to the home screen. Very interesting here. Voice dialing. I haven't had a chance to even get anybody's opinion on this or try it out, um, but it's something new. Uh, it wasn't on Trail 680, uh, at least not as a built-in app. It was third-party apps you could use it with, but this looks like it has a lot of uh, different options for every single application and uh, dialing, too, right there, digital dialing. It's pretty cool. No, it's a shame we don't get, get a chance to check this out, and I didn't even know it had voice dialing. Let's see, but you do have My Centro up there in the left-hand corner, which is a very useful, kind of like a support page on your Centro for those people that aren't familiar with using the Palm OS or any Palm products. You can go through, and then that, that, that requires an internet connection, which I don't have, but you can go to support pages and find a bunch of stuff on how to use your Centro smartphone, and that's that's pretty good. There's Express Mail. Uh, don't recommend that. That sucks. Get Snapper Mail or use Versa Mail. Express Mail is not very good. But this is set up for Exchange uh, and ActiveSync, so you can actually get push email on the Centro. And there's the uh, key guard when you shut the screen off. And uh, I'm not really impressed, honestly. I mean, it's without 3G speeds, uh, the only edge-connected phone that I would ever use would probably be the iPhone because it has Wi-Fi. There is no Wi-Fi on this device. Uh, it's basically an entry-level smartphone for kids or for somebody that's their first smartphone. But if, if they're interested, Centro, Palm Centro, $99 a two-year contract, and I believe $399 out of contract. Thank you.